Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to this lecture on transient metal organometallic chemistry from principles to applications. We have been discussing about an interesting area of organometallic compounds, an interesting type. These are called transient metal porphyroalkyl complexes. complexes and these are often designated as RF transient metal type compounds where RF represents the porphyroalkyl moiety. Now these compounds bear analogy to the simple transient metal alkyl complexes which are also given by R T M where R is an alkyl group or one may also represent the same as R H T M where you know all the alkyls have hydrogen substituents on it to be more precise. So, transient metal alkyl complexes are represented as such. Both of these compounds may be related in the sense that they are all sigma type bonds with the transition metal, they all make sigma type bonds. However, when one looks at these two compounds, one is the transition metal porfluoroalkene or transition metal alkyl complexes. So, one sees that they differ in their reactivity as well as in property and that is something which is of interest and needs further discussion. One also finds that these transition metal porfluoroalkyl complexes are more stable stable than the corresponding transition metal alkyl complexes and in today's lecture we will be focusing more on this reason for extra stability of these uh, transition metal alkyl complexes. Now, there is an counter argument which suggests that transition metal porfluoroalkyl complexes may not be very stable. The argument being that the decomposed product of these complexes should be metal fluorides. are metal fluorides which has high lattice energy and hence this compound should be less stable because they would want to dissociate or decompose to metal fluorides having high lattice energy. But what it turns out is that these transition metal perfluoro bonds are very strong leading to their extra stability. And in this discussion what we are going to focus on is the reason for this extra uh, uh, bond strength of perfluoro transition metal alkyl complexes.
So, in order to understand this, let us take a look at this transition metal perfluoroalkyl bond. Now, perfluoroalkyl has all of the carbon substituted with fluorine instead of hydrogen in a normal alkyl analog and as fluorine being very electronegative, the polarity of this alkyl group thus becomes del minus and the metal becomes del plus and this is a kind of sigma interaction occurring between this perfluoroalkyl group and the transition metal. Now, as this difference in polarity or as this bond becomes more polar, polar owing to the presence of the fluorine, then the metal becomes partially more positively charged which results in contraction of metal orbital thereby, thereby increasing the overlap between this metal C bond. So, high partial charge of metal del plus results in contracted metal orbital leading to an increased M C overlap and which gives greater stability. Similarly, for the back donation for example, from the metal to the ligand pi type back donation because of the presence of this perfluoro fluorine atoms on each carburing the pi star of the RF fragment become low lying which also increases the metal carbon back bonding and resulting in a better overlap. So, highly electronegative fluoride atoms on RF moiety makes pi star MO of RF low lying thereby facilitating metal to RF back donation. And increasing M RF bond dissociation energy. So, what comes to the fore is that the greater stability of the RF transition metal arises because of the greater polarity of the bond and that affects both the sigma bond as well as the pi bond in the same direction that is this 
enhanced polarity due to presence of electro negative fluoride ion affects both the sigma and pi bonds towards increasing the, uh, the corresponding RF transition metal bond energy and this does so by contraction of the metal orbital as the metal become more partially charged leading to an increased metal MC overlap for the forward ligand to metal forward sigma donation and the presence of so many fluoride atoms on the perfluoroalkyl group makes the corresponding pi star molecular orbital low lying and that also in turn facilitates the metal to ligand pi back donation and both of these factor working together increases the metal to perfluoroalkyl bond dissociation energy thereby imparting stability to these perfluoroalkyl transition metal complexes. Now, there are many reactions which are common for simple alkyl transition metal complexes which does not occur in their perfluoroalkyl counterparts and that can be ascribed due to the increased polarity or the presence of fluoride atom in the perfluoroalkyl moiety resulting in difference in reactivity. For example, CO insertion in RF metal bond is unfavorable. I will illustrate that with an example. For example, if in a metal alkyl complex of the type M RH M C O N where RH is a simple alkyl group containing carbon and hydrogen atoms when heated readily undergoes CO insertion into metal RH bond giving R C O M C O N minus 1 and this reaction is happens readily upon heating and is, and is observed in many transition metal complexes whereas, the same reaction in its perfluoroalkyl analog as given by R F M C O N is very rare. So, here too such insertion is observed rarely and seen only at elevated temperatures. So, the reaction which is uh, common for alkyl carbonyl complexes this reaction of CO insertion into metal carbon bond is absolutely rare for perfluoro metal alkyl metal carbonyl complexes and proceed at a very high temperature. So, this sort of highlights the difference in reactivity between these two classes of compound even though structurally they may be very similar in resemblance. Now, I would come to the various preparative methods available for synthesizing 
these porphyro alkyl transition metal complexes and to begin with the most common method for synthesizing this porphyro alkyl transition metal complexes is to react is the reaction of porphyro acyl halide with carbonylate anion plus carbonate anion I will illustrate with this with the following example giving rise to this porphyroacyl MnCO5. Now, here one can see that this acyl group has positive charge at the carbon and the metallate MnCO5 has a negative charge at the manganese. As a result, the formation of manganese pentacarbonyl perfluoroacyl compound is formed, and this when heated eliminates CO resulting in perfluoroalkyl manganese pentacarbonyl. So, what we saw is that acyl that CO elimination for a acyl bond from acyl bond occurs upon heating resulting in the formation of RF Mn CO 5 along with carbonyl moiety. Another interesting feature about this class of compounds is that reversal of polarity is observed in many of its examples. Let me illustrate this with perfluoro iodides for example a perfluoroiodide would have the polarity in the RFI bond as iodine having the del positive and the RF minus having the del negative charges. The reason being fluoride being a very strong electron electronegative element would result in accumulation of electron density on the RF moiety resulting in minor del minus on this side and appropriate del plus on the iodide. However, this polarity is completely reverse to that of alkyl halide, alkyl iodide. For example, in alkyl iodide, in the corresponding hydrogenated counterpart here in this case 
what do we see that iodine is del minus and the carbon having all the hydrogen becomes del plus because iodine is more electronegative. So, these two demonstrate that there is a reversal of polarity if one were to look at this bond or this bond and no wonder they show very different reactivity and that is because this RF iodide type of compound so favors nucleophilic attack at the carbon whereas R H type of compound favors electrophilic attack. Let me illustrate this with an example. For example, for the reaction of C F 3 I plus sodium manganese C O 5, here the iodine is in plus positive charge and the manganese is in the negative charge and C F 3 has a del minus charge and it does not react with the manganese and the final product one gets is manganese pentacarbonyl iodide plus sodium iodide plus C 2 F 6. This reac reaction is completely different then what would have what one would have expected with the corresponding hydrogenated counterpart. In that case the methylated MnCO 5 minus would go and attack the methyl cation, cationic fragment of CH 3 and not end up on iodine as shown over here. The another interesting example reactivity of this perfluoro alkyl complexes is that the perfluoro alkyl complexes can undergo fluoride substitution with strong nucleophilic metallates. with strong nucleophilic carbonyl metallates. For example, C P A P dicarbonyl anil plus C 6 F 6 gives C P C O 2 F A sigma bonded with C 6 F 5 plus F minus. So, here the metallate anion is substituting a fluoride anion in this C 6 F 6 moiety. The same can be seen over here where M n C O 5 minus showing similar nucleophilic attack and replacing 
the fluoride moiety in the cyclobutane compound resulting in this cyclo perfluorocyclobutane fluoride compound and fluoride anion. With this let me summarize what we have been discussing in today's lecture. We have looked into an uh, interesting class of compounds called perfluoroalkyl transition metal complexes. We have looked into their exceptional stability at the uh, for this kind of complexes, we uh, looked for reasons for the source of this exceptional stability and that arises because of the polarity of the uh, metal uh, carbon bond containing the perfluoroalkyl moiety. We had also seen that uh, this polarity results in more stronger ligand to metal sigma donation and metal to ligand pi back donation uh, which sort of uh, leads uh, to the stable stability of these compounds. We have also seen that for case of perfluoroalkyl halide there is a reversal of polarity leading to different kind of reactions occurring in this uh, perfluoroalkyl transition metal complexes. We have also looked at some of the synth uh, synthetic procedures available uh, for this perfluoroalkyl transition metal complexes. With this I conclude uh, today's lecture and look forward to uh, uh, being with you in next lecture where we are going to take up some more synthetic strategies available for perfluoroalkyl uh, transition metal complexes and look into the reactivity of these complexes. Till then goodbye and see you in the next lecture. Thank you.